Hi everyone and welcome to the short tutorial on using the Swift Key keyboard. This is an add-on app that you can add to your Promethean Active Connect G via the Google Play Store. It's not an app that's currently coming out on Active Panels, though I hear they're about to add it in the next update. Now what the Swift Key keyboard helps uh, solve is let's say that you were going to go do a Google search uh, for kangaroos and when you pull up the keyboard, it takes up over half the screen. Now, that search for kangaroos is a real simple task, but there's often times when you might need to find uh, a quick way to enter text, let's say a URL, without blocking the rest of the screen. Enter Swift Key Keyboard, and uh, this is something that you can download for free from the Google Play Store, and I'm gonna unbox it, basically. I'm gonna walk you through all the setup it's going to require you to enable it first in the system settings. All I need to do there is toggle the switch next to Swift Key Keyboard and tap OK. Then I need to select Swift Key as my primary keyboard. And I then have an option to send some of my data to Swift Key via either a Microsoft sign in or a Google sign in. Everything I can show you today. Uh, does not use those analytics that track your keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap uh, not now to skip that personalization. And then we'll go ahead and start talking about this keyboard, which immediately changes when you're looking at it. For the most part, uh, teachers are going to find this feature useful, and that is when I tap those three slashes in the top left of the keyboard, I can change what's called uh, float over on the right-hand side. That starts to allow me to drag it around, but then when I tap those three lines again, I can change the layout to compact. And now I have a keyboard that can follow me around in different apps without having to uh, take up too much space. This is also uh, an extra security feature because now you can use your body to block certain things like your usernames and passwords. And there's a lot more customization that you can do in here. You can change what types of keys show up on your keyboard. So for example, if you are a math teacher and you want a number pad constantly on your virtual keyboard, and you don't really see the need for emoticons in the classroom, you can turn those off. Additionally, you can save space by turning off the number row. And there's a couple other features in here that are worth playing with uh, to really make the keyboard work for you. Now, in the actual app itself, there's a number of other customizations and things that you can uh, do, such as changing the theme. Uh, that kind of stuff is going to really be restricted by whether or not you're signed in. So there's a lot of color schemes to the uh, Swift Key app, uh, but those things all require you to give over that data of what you're entering in on every uh, stroke to Swift Key for analysis. Um, and later prediction and things like that. So it's a great way to look up kangaroos while not blocking the view of your active panel. I can do it off to the side while I still have another shoulder to my classroom. And of course, the auto um, predict is also pretty good uh, as well. So thanks for watching this short tutorial. Uh, if you're interested in more active panel or active connect videos, please check out uh, my YouTube page with a full playlist.